Hi, I'm Dave Baker, your host of the HomeFixItPage.com. We're here to talk about air infiltration into your house and what you need to do about it to make your HVAC system work better in the summer and better in the winter. The first thing you need to do is get a blower door test. A what? A blower door test. Now this shouldn't cost you anything. Good heating and air companies will do it. Good insulation companies will come to your house and do it for free. I know that's a big word here. They'll open up your front door, they'll put this big sheet around it with a fan that blows out of your house. You'll find the leaks around your windows and doors. You can fix those yourself simply by caulking. And it's best when you're, say, around a window, caulk all the way around the inside of your windows. Get the paintable kind of caulk. So you caulk it, you paint it, good to go. That'll seal the air out. The next thing you need to do is use the results from that blower door test. Get in your attic and find where all your leaks are in your attic. The most expensive thing you can do is to use spray-in foam insulation in your attic. Spray the whole thing, foam the whole thing. You can't do that yourself. You can't even get close to doing it yourself. Don't think you can but that is the single best insulation you can put in your house. It'll seal all the cracks, it'll seal everything in your attic. Other than foam the whole thing, now this will be a little less expensive, is a good insulation contractor will come in and find where all the leaks are and he'll use the spray foam just in the leaks. He'll cover all the leaks just with the spray foam and then they'll add more blown in fiberglass insulation on the floor of your attic. That is very good too. That's the second best thing you can do and it's gonna be less expensive than the whole foamed attic. The third thing you can do is just to add more blown in insulation in your attic. You need about 20 inches, okay? Here's a good rule of thumb. If you stick your head up in your attic and you can see the joist on the floor of the attic, you don't have enough insulation. You're not even really close. Okay, the most important thing that Clark's gonna to wanna to know is the payback period. Is there a payback period? Does this save me money over time? Well, I can tell you I have Total foam insulation in my attic. Had it done about seven years ago, 29.5% I saved on my power bill. Now, months following have just stayed at that same level, which means the foam works month after month after month, holds its own every month. But you're saving about 30%. So if your bill is $400, you're saving $120 times that by a year. That's, what, thousand some bucks? The average foam job is maybe five to six thousand dollars you can see five six years you're in the clear and spray in foam insulation clark doesn't go away it doesn't shrink it doesn't collapse it keeps its value year after year after year okay let's talk about price just for a second without seeing your actual position it's hard to give price but i'll tell you this foam insulation is about two and a half to three times more than just having the blown in insulation put in your attic. The hybrid that we talked about where they do part foam, part blown in, that falls almost exactly in the middle between the two and a half to three times more. So what's that, 175-ish? So it's, it's right in the middle between the two. Still a very good option. So don't forget, sealing your house and better insulation works 12 months a year. For more good advice, go to Clark.com. I'm Dave Baker, your host of the homefixitpage.com.